I have actually completed the project. I've completed the desk. I have assembled the desk. I have put my stuff on the desk. I have moved the desk into my recording studio and integrated it with the finely tuned machine that is Reluctant Profits. Used to be a little workshop back here in a corner of my garage. <laughs> now, I have put together a nice little uh, music video and reveal the desk and artsy shots and angles and stuff and you know you, you, you don't have to watch you know the video and all I guess it only took me two days to make because I'm not really good at video but you know I'm gonna put a chapter point in the video description so that you can just skip the music video thing and go right to the actual explanation of the desk that I've put at the end. I'll try and keep that to five minutes or less and just kind of explain the different features and functions that I built into the desk and now that it's assembled all of those of course are are done. Um, yeah, so you could just you could skip it. It'd be fine. Crude goes out to the east He acts like a babe And he drinks like a beast He wonders because He is frequent deceased Air is fit to serve As a soldier mm, Serve, serve, serve As a soldier Now all you recruits That are drafted today You can shut up your rag box And arc to my lay And I'll sing you a soldier As far as I may Sell his hut for the sale You fix bayonets with rots out your guts And I drink that you'd eat the live steam from your butts And that's bad for the young British soldier mm, Bad, bad, bad for the soldier And when the color comes as it will pass the doubt Keep out of the wet and don't go on the shout For the sickness gets in as the liquor dies out and it Crumples a young British soldier mm, Crown, crown, crown falls a soldier But the worst of your foes is the sun overhead And you must wear your helmet for all that is said If he finds you uncovered, he'll knock you down dead And you'll die like a fool of a soldier mm, Fool, fool, fool of a soldier If you cast for fatigue by a sergeant unkind Don't you grouse like a woman No cry on no blind Be handy and civil And you'll go find That it's beer for the old British soldier mm, beer, beer, beer for the soldier Now if you must marry Take care she is old A troop sergeant's widow's The nicest I'm told For beauty won't help if your passions are cold No love ain't enough for the soldier No love ain't enough for the soldier if the Okay, you see here the left riser rack This rises off the desk I have six rack spaces in here I put a Furman over here uh, So I can handle all the electrical stuff from here and The bottom rack on the left side uh, standard 19 inch. I filled it with drawers except for this gap here Which uh, actually makes a really cool shelf. It's really comfortable to use for all those kinds of things This is the end of my uh, RGB LED light strip, which Let me kind of get down under here if I can See that? That's the RGB LED light strip. I can change that to all kinds of colors or I can just make that white so that I have a better visual of everything. And that, oh, that just goes around the front and the side. Here I've added a uh, extra USB connection that I've kind of zip tied in there. And another shelving unit and rack spaces on this side. All of that's... never mind. Okay, so, you people, sorry about that. 
we get robbed here a lot. Anyway, so that is my other riser uh, with my main stuff. So I reach out right-handed and I deal with that. And then as I swing over here on the desk, I have my fader port, which I then simultaneously operate with my left hand. Works really well. This is the Rubio Mono Coat, which I, I gotta say is just absolutely stunning. I love that. I'm so happy I did that. The edge work worked out real well where I simply blacked the edge of the plywood. It's a clean thing. It's not perfect. You know, I, I grant you. But gosh, it's really pretty good for an amateur job. Uh, back over here, I manufactured speaker risers. And those are uh, speaker mufflers there to stop the sound from the monitor speaker from resonating through the solid wood risers and down into the desk. That causes all kinds of audio problems. Of course, I have one of those on, on both sides. Those were just kind of slapped together at the last minute, to be honest with you, uh, with scraps from those tables. You can see on this edge, I haven't even finished uh, sealing that particular edge in. Should tip this up because this actually sits I tipped that down so I could shoot my reveal video. I didn't want light there, but it sits there and it illuminates the corner, which, come on, that's just cool. This is my, uh, let's see here. This then is my boom stand where I can put, this is typically where I would put dynamic microphones uh, to do speech stuff, uh, to do rehearsal in here if the band comes in. And then of course here, is uh, my flagship vocal microphone on my KSM heavy-duty studio stand, which I'm not a huge fan of. I have to be perfectly honest with you. I'm not... It's okay, but it, it isn't brilliant. Here you can see um, those cutouts in the base of the desk and how they go and with the brace in the back there and all. Uh, and then the desk cantilevers out. It's It's smooth. Remember I cut these corners off. The desk goes smooth along the side like this. That's how I know that those bases are placed properly. And then we we come out the bottom. Oh gosh, that's not going to focus. So I'll show you other stuff. Now, now that, that riser right there, that post, uh, the back wings left and right of the desk are really unsupported uh, because there's a there's there's a foot and a half back there that doesn't have any bracing from these racks so i banged those together real quick and and i knew i was going to do this and then muscled them in place uh, they're not actually affixed with anything but they don't need to be and then of course this down here well i'll show you this from up top this is my cable management system which you know, it doesn't look so great when you get down here, but honestly, it works really, really well. And uh, let me show you the monitor bay here. That's the computer monitor bay. And you can see what I have done is I have created this kind of neat little system. If I do say so myself, it actually drops down in there. Uh, and there are drill holes where shelf brackets, shelf pegs, fit in order to make that work. So I have this this drop, this section of drop on the desk where I store uh, my keyboard uh, when I do MIDI work and I can lower that down as far as I want depending on what monitor I get and how tall the monitor wants to sit because I prefer personally I'll get back here and sit down where the bottom of the monitor lines up directly with the top of the desk when I'm sitting here. Now Granted, that's in the way a little bit, but when I'm sitting up close to the desk in this cutout, which allows the desk to surround me, those things aren't nearly as in the way as one might expect. Now, this, yeah, the paddle ship, when my son, who's now 25, was uh, all of 16, he decided he was going to give me this gift of the Arizona battleship, which he assembled and painted badly very badly but it was a gift of love because he and i share a great love for history and so i keep it here there's my tractors that's because i play video games i love fallout but more than fallout i love farm sim chuckle if you want 
This is a called a tabaret. This is actually an architect's tabaret. I used to work as an architectural apprentice and a draftsman, and I own this. It's plastic, and it's pure white. So I went out and I purchased here. Uh, these are things I use daily in the studio, you know, um, small tools, electronics tools, you know, there'll be soldering equipment and things like that in here. I just got some plastic cover spray paint from my local big box and sprayed that sucker down and it works great in here. A principal issue for me in this build was drawer space. Drawer space was going to be huge because I used to have a lot of it in my old desk. And so I spent the money and I gotta say I spent huge money and I bought these drawers. I bought a lot of them. You know, I bought these drawers here. And I brought these, bought this big drawer down here. And then this is actually my my Sweetwater Creation Station. It's 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 aging now, but the reason for the drawers is I needed a lot of drawer space because I also use this space as my office desk. I mean, you know, it's a studio, but you still do contracts and a fair amount of paperwork, and it's an office desk. So I don't have a different desk to do the office work on, which is part of the reason for the design. You know, this was four feet wide, of course, at the, the desk top. I cut a foot, I cut a foot off the back, and I cut a foot deep in the front so that there's two foot from me to the uh, computer monitor. Uh, these monitors are set up so that they shoot directly over the tops of these desktop racks. So they don't interfere with the sound uh, too much. And I do have the sound in here tuned with the sound ID reference software and reference microphone that comes with that set. I, I have no affiliation with those guys, and not that I'm against it, I just... Nobody reaches out to me for sponsors, I'm just too small. But anyway, I'm using that, and I, and I like it. This has worked well. My actual view, if I get up here, is... I don't have quite a wide enough angle lens here, I see. But you know, this is getting right up to the desk. Everything is it was within terrific reach, so that I can reach and I can manipulate and work with everything really, really well. I'm just as happy with this as I can be. There are imperfections. I mean, if we get a good look here at this, you will see there are drips from paint. You know, I, I could have worked harder and gotten more of those kinds of things uh, sanded out, but I, I did not. Uh, there's an old bash from this old table. It used to be a bar table. Or a, no, no, stop that. Can you focus there? No. Well, whatever the case. You understand. If you have questions, feel free to make comments down below. I will always answer questions. I love to hear from folks. And uh, that's been my studio build. Thank you very much.